straight lines. What is straight line? Straight lines. What is straight lines? Zero to zero to one eighty degrees lines are straight lines. Zero to one eighty degrees line are straight line. Straight line. Zero to one eighty degrees line are straight line. And what is straight line? What is the definition? Let alpha be an angle. Let alpha be an angle. Measured in anti-clockwise orientation. Measured in anti-clockwise orientation. And you observe this one. This is clockwise orientation. What is anti-clockwise orientation? Reverse order. Reverse order. Anti-clockwise orientation. And this is the clock. And this is clockwise orientation. What is the meaning of anti-clockwise orientation? Reverse order. And anti-clockwise orientation. Let alpha be an angle. Let alpha be alpha an angle. Measured in measured in anti-clockwise orientation. Anti-clockwise. Orientation. Let alpha be an angle measured in anti-clockwise orientation. Alpha be an angle measured in anti-clockwise orientation. B. Positive direction of positive direction of x-axis. Positive direction of x-axis. Let alpha be an angle measured in anti-clockwise orientation. Positive direction of x-axis. And this line is called inclination of inclination of line. Inclination of line. And line is called inclination of line. Let alpha be an angle measured in anti-clockwise orientation. Anti-clockwise orientation. Positive direction of x-axis. Positive direction of x-axis. This is called inclination of a line. This is called inclination of a line. Let alpha be an angle measured in anti-clockwise orientation. And positive direction of x-axis is called inclination of Line then denoted by denoted by slope m equals to tan theta denoted by slope m equals to tan theta alpha be an angle measured in anti-clockwise orientation and positive direction of x-axis and slope is denoted by the m equals to tan theta then slope is denoted by m equals to tan theta m equals to tan theta alpha be an angle measured in anti-clockwise orientation positive direction of x-axis is called inclination of a line denoted by slope m equals to tan theta why are you taking m equals to tan theta why are you taking m equals to tan theta and in trigonometric ratios sin theta is there and cos theta is there and secant theta, cosecant theta, cot theta, tan theta but you are taking only tan theta what? what is the reason? why are you taking only m equals to tan theta? why are you taking only m equals to tan theta? and this is the proof only m equals to tan theta only m equals to tan theta here m equals to tan theta y goes to and this is x axis this is y axis x axis y axis slope of horizontal line x axis equals to 0 slope of horizontal line horizontal line x equals to 0 and slope of vertical line y equals to undefined y equals to 
undefined 0 degrees and 90 degrees and slope of horizontal line x equals to 0 and slope of vertical line y equals to undefined slope of horizontal line horizontal line means x axis x axis slope is 0 x axis slope is 0 and slope of y axis slope of y axis y axis is undefined y axis is undefined y are undefined x are 0 slope of horizontal line x equals to 0 slope of vertical line y equals to undefined and you draw the another line then this line is y equals to x and this line is y equals to x and you know the rise over run and y is change with dy and x is change with dx and y now what derivative of y dy by dx dy by dx and dy by dx and next derivation 1 dy by dx equals to 1 and this line are cut into bisect and first coordinate 90 degrees this total 90 degrees 90 degrees 90 degrees 90 degrees each coordinate are divided into 90 degrees 90 degrees 90 degrees and first coordinate is 90 degrees y equals to when you observe this line y equals to x line y equals to x line y equals to x line are bisecting y equals to x line are bisecting into two equal parts what is the meaning of bisecting two cutting into two equal parts cutting into two equal parts here 90 degrees here 90 degrees so cutting into two equal parts 90 by 2 what is the value of 90 by 2 45 45 45 degrees 45 degrees 45 degrees 45 degrees and y equals to x line are bisecting into bisecting cutting directly cutting into two equal parts cutting into two equal parts then totally line 90, 90 degrees line 90 degrees line are cutting into two equal parts 90 by 2 45 and 45 degrees and you observe this one and 0 degrees is 0 45 degrees what is the value of y equal to x line dy by dx equals to 1 dy by dx equals to 1 and y axis 90 degrees <coughs> 90 degrees equals to undefined 90 degrees and slope of horizontal line 0 45 degrees 1 90 degrees undefined and y equals to x line r by setting with 2 to equal parts and y equals to x y derivative of y dy by dx like a rise over run y rise over run part dy by dx x derivative 1 dy by dx equals to 1 in 45 degrees y equals to x line r 1 45 degrees equals to 1 90 degrees equals to undefined 0 degrees equals to 0 0 degrees equals to 0 0 degrees equals to 0 degrees equals to 0, 45 degrees equals to 1, 90 degrees equals to undefined infinity. Which angle, which trigonometric ratio are satisfied? Which trigonometric ratio are satisfied? In three conditions and sine, sine theta, sine 0, 0, okay, sine 45, 1 by 2, not satisfied. Next one, cos theta not satisfied and next one cot 45 1 but 90 are 0 no not satisfied next cosecant theta same cosecant 0 value 0 undefined cosecant 0 1 by 0 undefined sin 0 cosecant means 1 by sin theta sin 0 1 by 0 Undefined, so non satisfying. Next secant theta. Secant theta also non satisfied. Secant theta also non satisfied. Next one, sixth ratio tan theta. Tan zero. Tan zero value. Zero. Tan forty five. 
and some distance are y1 y minus y1 y minus y1 y minus y1 at the same time here total distance x sum of the distance x1 and what is the remaining distance what is the remaining distance x minus x1 x minus x minus x1 and total distance r y sum of the distance r y1 total distance r y sum of the distance r y1 and remaining y minus y1 y minus y1 and here also same total distance r x sum of the distance r x1 what is the remaining distance x minus x1 here tan theta opposite side by Opposite side by adjacent side. Opposite side by adjacent side. Here opposite side y minus y one. Here adjacent side x minus x one. And the m equals to tan theta. So m equals to y minus y one by x minus x one. Y minus y one equals to m into x minus x one. Y minus y one equals to m into x minus y minus y one equals to m into x minus x one. What is the slope form? Y minus y one x minus x one. Y minus y one. M into x minus x1 and here slope form y minus y1 equals to m into x minus x1 and here total distance r by the observed is one very easy method total distance r y sum of the distance r y1 and remaining distance y minus y minus y1 y minus y1 and here also total distance x Sum of the distance x1, remaining distance x minus x1, x minus x1. Here tan theta opposite side by adjacent side, opposite side by adjacent side. Here opposite side y minus y1. Here adjacent side x minus x1. Then tan theta equals to y minus y1 by x minus x1. Here m equals to tan theta. M equals to tan theta m equals to tan theta then m equals to y minus y1 by x minus x1 shifted to LHSI y minus y1 equals to m into x minus x1 and slope form are completed and remaining various forms and next form intercept form slope form are completed what is the next form intercept form Slope intercept. Slope intercept form. <coughs> and what is slope intercept? Slope intercept. Y equals to m x plus c. Y equals to slope m c. Y intercept. This proof also same. This proof also same. x axis y axis and this is x and this total distance r by c as y intercept c as y intercept and this one y total distance r by sum of the distance you observe this one this total distance r by sum of the distance c what about remaining distance y minus c y minus c and this one is c total y and sum of the distance is c total distance y and remaining distance y minus c y minus y minus c y minus y minus c then tan theta equals to same formula opposite side opposite side by adjacent side opposite side by adjacent side here opposite side 
y minus c h is inside in x then m b equals to tan theta equals to m you know that value tan theta equals to m where y minus c by x m equals to y minus c by x shifted to r h s i y minus y minus c equal to mx minus c r shifted to r h s i y equals to mx plus c y equals to mx plus c and total distance y sum of the distance c and what about remaining distance y minus c y minus c and sum of the distance are c remaining distance y minus c and opposite side y minus c adjacent side x opposite side are y minus c adjacent side x y minus tan theta equal to y minus c by x can you know the tan theta value tan theta equals to m then m equals to y minus c by x y minus c by x x shifted to lhsi y minus c equals to mx y minus c equals to mx minus c shifted to rhsi then y equals to mx plus c y equals to mx plus c